evening, pujas are done to invite and propitiate the devatas. Bhuma Devi in a pretty pink silk and Varahar as a hoe who lifts Bhuma Devi up from the oceans, a pray to, and they are taken on a pradakshinam around the temple. <laughs> Devi is gently lifted by Varahar and placed in a tambadam. <laughs> they come in a pradakshina around the temple. Now it's the turn of Vastu Purusha. Brahma, Vishnu and Maheshwara are supposed to reside in the Vastu Purusha. For any Mangala Karyam done, the Vastu Purusha has to be first invoked. Vastu Purusha has been invoked in a kurcham and this has been inserted in a flaming torch made out of dry coconut leaves. This is then dragged from one Sannidhi to another. This is for Grama Shuddhi for the purification of the gramam. Even if there is one death of one single bird, there will be tita, a state of impurity. And for this, both Agni and the Vastu Purusha are invoked so that the Kumbhabhishekam is conducted in a perfect manner. The eight Dik Devatas who preside over each of the eight cardinal points are invited with their own special ragam, talam and dritam dance. Except in this case, nobody actually danced. Although there are those who follow this tradition, wear anklets and dance at this moment.